IMF head says that 2023 will be worse for the world economy than 2022. The president of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has warned that this year would be more difficult than 2022 for the majority of the world's economy, as the United States, the European Union, and China all experience slower growth. Kristalina Georgieva, managing director of the International Monetary Fund, predicted that one-third of the world's countries would be in recession in 2023. Why? Because the three largest economies, the United States, the European Union, and China, are all slowing down at the same time, Georgieva said during a Sunday interview on the CBS show Face the Nation. The statements came after the IMF lowered its global growth prediction to 2.7% in October, from 2.9% in July, due to headwinds such as the conflict in Ukraine and steeply increasing interest rates. Georgieva stated that China, the world's second-largest economy, is set to grow at or below global growth for the first time in 40 years as COVID-19 instances soar after the dissolution of its ultra-strict zero-COVID policy. That has never occurred before. And looking forward to next year, the loosening of COVID limitations will result in bushfire-related COVID cases across China for three, four, five, or six months, Georgieva added. Last week, I was in China, in a bubble, in a place with zero COVID. But it is not going to endure if the Chinese people start traveling. Georgieva said that she anticipated China's economy to improve by the end of the year, but that there remain worries about the country's long-term direction. Before COVID, China was responsible for 34, 35, and 40 percent of world growth. It is no longer doing it. It is really rather stressful for the economies of Asia. When I speak with Asian leaders, they invariably begin by asking, what will happen with China? Is China going to return to a greater level of growth? Half of the EU is anticipated to be in recession this year as a result of the conflict in Ukraine, according to Georgieva. The head of the IMF said, however, that the US economy stands out for its resiliency and might escape decline altogether this year.